Alright, hello world. In this video I will be walking through Magic Eye, which is a Max for Live device that does video controlled granular synthesis. So I will be walking through the controls, showing how it works, and messing around making some noise. Let's do it. You can see that I've already dropped a video file into the device, and to drop a video file you just go to wherever you have a video file on your computer, and drop it into this little square region right here. Shout out to my friend Joel who sent me 33 videos that come with the device when you download it. So the video file should autoplay. You can also drop image files in and use those if you want. You can stop playback by turning this play button off and then the position control allows you to essentially control the frame that you're selecting in the video. And you'll see that this little orange line is moving around as I do that. That is because this video, whatever the currently selected pixel is in that viewfinder, controls the, the next grain, where the grain comes from in the source audio file. So the darker the pixel, the further left, the earlier the next grain comes from. The brighter the pixel, the further right the grain comes from. So as I turn this brightness up, you should see generally it's moving more towards the right. Um, and so that's how it works, is you select a pixel over here, you use this as a little monitor to determine what exact pixel is currently selected. And instead of clicking on the little magic eye, you can also use these sliders to move across the X and Y axis. And essentially, based on however bright it is, it picks a new grain. And there's various controls for the video and audio, which I'll go over now. Uh, first, let's drop a audio file into here and make some sound. So I dropped a video file in. You can also record from anywhere in your live set. Uh, for now, I will just uh, use this breakbeat that I just dropped in. I'm going to turn the video on and press this auto button, and it will start making sound. And so you can control the speed that a new grain is generated with this new grain speed. <laughs> And it can either be a quantized division of a whole note, or it can be non-quantized and go from two milliseconds to every one second there's a new grain. You can control the grain length with this all the way from one millisecond to one second. And you can control grain probability. So if I pretty straightforward. These controls allow you to have a little more control over exactly where in the source file you want grains to come from. So you see I move this max position down to over here. If I turn auto back on. only picking grains from that region. And pause gain and pause offset just give you finer grained control over exactly where you want to select from. When pause gain goes above one, if the video has a lot of dynamics in it and it's not super dark, it'll just wrap back around. So say you had something that was really um, as you add gain, it'll just go from here back over to here. So no matter what the gain value is, it'll always be just within, it'll always create a grain from inside the source audio file. Uh, lastly, there's a pitch control that's just a global pitch control from 24 semitones down to negative 24 semitones. You can hear that. And that's just a global pitch control. It's not per grain. Um, I had implemented it as per grain, but it was kind of too CPU intensive, so it's just a global pitch control so that this works for more people. There's a master output, just controls the output level of the device. And then, as I mentioned, you can record in. So, for example, um, from my microphone, test.
<laughs> yeah, so you get the idea. It's pretty fun for resampling and stuff like that. Um, and that's all the audio controls. Then the video controls are pretty straightforward. I already mentioned the X and Y controls here and the indicator, and this is for video. Um, you can control loop start point, loop end point, and if you engage play, you can see that this position indicator becomes just, it's not um, a control, it's just an indicator. It just shows you where in the loop you are. If you turn this off and you move the position indicator and the auto is also off, it will actually be, um, it'll select new grains, so you should hear sound. And so in that case, it's basically selecting a new frame in the video and, um, you know, it's just kind of a fun mode. Fun mode that I figure you might as well allow it to make noise that way. You can also invert the pixels. You can control brightness. You can control contrast and feedback. Negative feedback can get pretty crazy. So can positive feedback at really high levels. And um, you know, just it's interesting being able to mod modulate the pixels and especially like moving from brightness if you go way up. <laughs> You can see that um, you know brightness is all the way off here, all the way up. Depending on that, you can really get a bit of control over the exact zone in the audio file that you're pulling from. Um, you can also, instead of using a video or an image file, you can select a gradient. I'm just going to drop a different audio file in so we're not just listening to my voice. Um, and so if you select a gradient and um, it's very uh, it's dark in the center and white on the very edges, which is kind of an interesting vector to explore. You can also use noise, which is just gray noise. And interestingly, if you use feedback and move between them, you can get these interesting sort of meta patterns, um, which is kind of an interesting little sub corner of the module um, so that's pretty much all the controls um, you can control video right I think I mentioned it but if I didn't that's how that works um, make sure like if you're really close to zero that you're holding shift so that um, it moves really slowly and like you can do that for fine-tuned movement whereas if you don't hold shift it can get tough to get close to zero goes up to 16 to negative 16 which is reverse um, yeah okay I think that's all the controls now um, I'm just gonna jam on this like kind of drone that I dropped in here for a little bit so let's do it I'm gonna mute my microphone
All right, so that's Magic Eye. It's a really fun device. It's pay what you want on my Gumroad page, which is linked in the video description. It's really fun. It's definitely worth zero dollars. <laughs> um, I would actually encourage you to pay more than zero dollars um, so I can keep doing this because I love doing it. Thanks for watching. Bye.